Hey racers, welcome to my gaming channel. Chicken Plays here, Mario Kart Tour, and we're back to our Road to Tier 40 series in the Vancouver Tour. This is going to be a part two, and this is my current rank right now. I'm in eighth place in the leaderboard, and I have 32k. Now, usually I show my rank, and previous rank, I actually ended up becoming uh, tier 39. So now my focus is to go to tier 40. This is it, racers. This is finally it. And so, uh, I what I do here is I pretty much use some gold tickets that I have to level up Bowser to level 5. I just use two gold tickets, which is no biggie. I get them from the gold pass rewards and also from the shop from time to time. And so, I'm going to start off with 3DS Neo Bowser City. And I have a level 5 Bowser, a level 2 Koopa Clown, and a level 1 Luma Parafoil, which was from my Hype Pipe. If you haven't seen that yet, that's also in my channel. So 3DS, Neo Bowser City. Of course, this is just going to be the plain old stage. There's no reverse, no tricks or anything. And so the first time I've done this, I pretty much have, have been collecting coins and, you know, do my best to drift and create those mini turbo boosts. And the, the thing here is that uh, playing in 150cc, you have to be aware of the turn. So, of course, we should be experts by now, right? Well, pretty much if you have been playing here by the city, some of you might not like the fact that this one is pretty much turns and turns and turns. And sometimes it could be hard to connect with combos, but do the best you can and take advantage of the gaps in space. So the first time I've done this, I'm going through it. Of course, you're going to be seeing fast clips of some of these and because I want to show you the best scores that I received for each of these stages as usual and my first score was 12k I didn't have any frenzies if you noticed that so the first time I've done this I beat my previous score and it got me to seventh place all right so our goal is to get to at first place all right now races let me know in the comment section what is your score right now for near Bowser City all right. Doing this again, I was able to get some good fantastic combos and I'm trying to connect again with coins. I would take advantage the first time of of gliding and then the second time hitting the gate for more points. So the gate is the finish line, right? And you're gonna see that from time to time I'm gonna be hitting that gate. I got hurt there, but I did get a banana frenzy, so that was good. That first banana frenzy is going to help my score increase. So, uh, with any rank, it's good to keep at it, and you know, you might be lucky to get a particular frenzy, but I got second place here, and I was just kind of bummed out because I thought I would get at least 14 or 15k. I got hurt at that towards the end, so that got me to around 13k, which again beat the previous score of doing this rank mode. And now here is another attempt, because I know I can reach at least 14 or 15k. Another attempt at 3ds Neo Bowser City. Uh, now I got hurt a couple times, but it did give me the chances of frenzy, so I was able to take advantage of my placement. So sometimes, even if you know if you get hurt during the race. You can still pick up the pace with frenzies and you can take advantage of being behind the other racers. So look, I, here I got tri uh, triple blue shells and that really helped me get to first place now. And of course, hitting other opponents do increase your score. So in this turn, look, I am around 7k to 8k and of course, can hit that gate, and I get 15.8k points, so that's really good. And that was probably my highest score, and I kept it. Alright, so that got me from 7th to 5th, so the leaderboard is still showing that I'm still in 5th. So, here is my attempt of the next one, SNES Ghost Valley 1R. My first time I got 13k, I had two frenzies, a coin and a banana frenzy. Now, forgive me, this is not going to probably beat that 13k because the first time I've done it, I just went through it. Um, King Boo is level 4, Power Wings level 1, and the banana Parafoil is level 3. Alright, so 
my attempt is again was not as great compared to the first time doing this because it was pretty much luck that got me that really high score so i'm just showing you my ability to pick up the pace with this course and why would i not show it right so how how i've done this was pretty much collecting the coins drifting and this is a short course so you might want to redo this over and over and over again until you can get maybe a frenzy or two so taking advantage of all the coins drifting when you can at 150 cc is crucial if 200 cc works for you by all means go for it because yeah it, it's gonna help you connect with combos but remember that this is a short course so that got me 9.8k uh, so again, I went to Vancouver Velocity R immediately because to get 13k is quite the challenge now. Let me know in the comment section what was your score in SNS Ghost Valley. Alright. So now we are in Vancouver Velocity R. My Rose Aurora is and the Comet Tail are level 1. I have no tier 3 glider, so I chose a tier 2 glider, level 1 Yoshi's Egg Hanafuda from the Gold Pass. I did have other options if I didn't have Gold Pass, so I did have other gliders for that level 2. And pretty much this one was a little tough. I had to decide between 150cc and 200cc. This was quite the quite the challenge here because there are times when the combos break and I find that kind of upsetting. <laughs> and so the first time I've done this definitely beat my previous score using this combo with a 9.3k that got me from 5th to 4th. Alright so we're getting up there. And so I repeated this course again. All right, so the same combo, haven't changed it. And I'm actually thinking, you know, after recording these videos, I might want to increase Rose Aurora's level, skill level to maybe three, if I get past from, from let's say, first place, uh, just to get that extra score. So. I'll show you what my what I mean when we get there. Right, so as, as usual, connecting with with combos, and of course, it's a little tougher when it comes to to racing in 150 and 200cc nowadays. The CPUs are aggressive as usual, but it won't stop me from continuing to do the best that I can. So, of course, I got hurt here. Now we're on to the second lap. Right, so the point is to get first place towards the end. It can be frustrating at times, but racers, let me know what was your score for Vancouver Velocity R. All right, so we're at that bridge portion. We got two red shells. And from here on, I tried to make it to first place. And thankfully I did with the Ice Flower Frenzy. If that was a little too late, but it got me to 10.8k, which was which was not too bad. So I'm um, hopefully I can be able to go beyond that score. So 10.8k. That got me to second place. All right, so we're trying to get to passing this first place player and doing the Neo Bowser City over and over again. I halfway recorded this because I was doing so well. My, my combo count was at 55 and I had coin frenzy at the beginning. So I wanted to continue that. Although my chain broke, I had a coin frenzy. At this point, I was around 8K. So I needed to make sure I uh, show you guys that my attempts of playing through the rank courses do increase over time with the luck and also the skill. So I got my second 
coin frenzy again and this was the best thing that could possibly happen and I probably will never beat this score. Hitting that gate for the extra spin and score got me 17.8k. That was That is the best score for level 5 le Bowser, level 2 Koopa Clown, and level 1 Luma Parafoil. So my previous score that you saw earlier was 15.8k. I jumped 2k more. So the frenzy that you see at the beginning right here, see, here are my actions, was a green shell frenzy followed by another frenzy which was a coin frenzy and of course towards the end before I spun that gate to finish with a 2 out of 2 final lap was my second coin frenzy. So in total I had 3 frenzies in one race which was really rare. So my score was 41.7k getting me to first place but it's really close I'm only 100k above the previous racer so that's pretty pretty close I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna make that first place but I'm pretty sure I can make the top to get to tier 40 wish me luck guys and I wish you guys luck for your races all right and so let me know in the comment section what tier you're in and what uh, placement you're going to be in Racers, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or this video has helped you, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more Mario Kart Tour tips, tricks, rank, gold, tour challenges, content. Until then, racers, I will leave you with this coin rush and I will see you on the racing field.